All lies originated from the devil himself after he was cast out of heaven from God's presence. The devil invented lies out of his twisted nature after he lost the divine presence and the divine nature of God. Jesus told us in John 8 verse 44, Satan is the father of lies. He said, you are the father of the devil and the desire of your father you want to do. He was a murderer from the beginning and does not stand in the truth because there is no truth in him. When he speaks a lie, he speaks from his own resources for he is a liar and the father of it. The spirit of lying controls many other spirits in your life. When the spirit of lying enters you, he brings a few friends with him, such as the spirit of deception, the spirit of exaggeration, the spirit of falsehood, the spirit of false doctrine, the spirit of false religions, and the spirit of craftiness. The Bible tells us there are many things that the Lord hates. In the book of Proverbs, chapter 6, verse 16 through 17, the Bible says there are six things the Lord hates. Yes, seven are an abomination to him. A proud look, a lying tongue, and hands that shed innocent blood. God hates liars. Lies are disgusting to him. When we lie, we distance ourselves from God, and that can cause our relationship with our Heavenly Father to suffer. And when we lie to our friends and family, we also can cause our relationship with one another to suffer. God detests him who is insincere and that loves to lie because he allows Satan to use his mouth. Proverbs 12 verse 22 says, Lying lips are extremely disgusting to the Lord, but those who deal faithfully are his delight. I understand we may have to lie at times. There are certain situations we find ourselves in, and it does not mean we have the spirit of lying over us. We lie because of fear. We feel the person will not understand what we are trying to convey to them, and fear will be a bigger challenge trying to explain it. Proverbs 29 verse 25 tells us, the fear of man brings a snare, but whoever trusts in the Lord shall be safe. We lie because we are seeking the favor of someone, especially when the person is in a position of authority over us. Other times we lie because of greed and selfishness. In Act 5 verse 3, there was a man named Ananias and his wife. Lied before God and because of that they lost God's presence and lost their lives. The Bible goes on to say that it was Satan who filled their hearts and they yield to Satan by letting him use their lips. But Peter said, Why has Satan filled your heart to lie to the Holy Spirit? A lying spirit cannot understand the truth. John 8 verse 43 to 45 tells us, Why can't you understand what I'm saying? It's because you can't even hear me. For you are the children of your father the devil, and you love to do the evil thing he does. He was a murderer from the beginning. He has always hated the truth because there is no truth in him. When he lies, it is consistent with his character, for he is a liar and the fathers of lie. So when I tell the truth, you just naturally don't believe me. A lying spirit denies that Jesus is God. 1 John chapter 2 verse 22. And who's a liar? Anyone who said that Jesus is not the Christ. Anyone who denies the Father and the Son is an antichrist. A lying spirit stands with the majority opinion. 2 Chronicle 18 verse 21, and the spirit reply, I will go out and inspire all of Ahab's prophets to lie. A lying spirit practices unrighteousness. 1 John 3 verse 7 to 8, Dear children, don't let anyone deceive you about this. When people do what is right, it shows that they are righteous, even as Christ is righteous. But when people keep on sinning, it shows that they belong to the devil, who has been sinning since the beginning. But the Son of God came to destroy the works of the devil. A lying spirit doesn't listen to believers. 1 John 4 verse 5 to 6. Those belong to this world, so they speak from the world's viewpoint. And the world listens to them. But we belong to God, and those who know God listen to us. If they do not belong to God, they do not listen to us. That is how we know if someone has the spirit of truth or the spirit of deception. A lying spirit entices men to destruction. 2 Chronicle 18 verse 21 And the spirit reply, I will go out and inspire all of Ahab's prophets to speak lies. You will succeed, said the Lord. Go ahead and do it. Tonight we are going to pray to bind and cast out the lying spirit on your life or someone else's life. Matthew 18 verse 18 tells us, Surely I say to you, 
Whatever you bind on earth will be bound in heaven, and whatever you loose on earth will be loosed in heaven. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, I thank you for your faithfulness in Jesus' name. I cover myself in the listener of this prayer with the blood of our Lord Jesus Christ, and I command all the spiritual evil in my life to be destroyed. I paralyze and nullify the activity of jungle and vagabond spirit in my life in the name of Jesus. I decree the exit of the following spirit from my life in the mighty name of Jesus. Spirit of lying, spirit of exaggeration, spirit of talkativeness, spirit of cursing, spirit of speech perversion, a spirit of stammering, spirit of nagging, spirit of murmuring. Let the fire of God purge my tongue from the contamination of evil vows in the name of Jesus. Lord, deliver me from the spirit of self-destruction. I cut myself off from every spirit of lying in the name of Jesus. I command every lying trait in me, inherited or acquired, to depart in the name of Jesus. Let every serpentine spirit and poison depart from my tongue today in the name of Jesus. I command every agent of bondage and destruction in my tongue to depart in Jesus' mighty name. Lord, repair all damages done in my life as a result of wrong use of my tongue in Jesus' name. I commend the evil progress of the enemy in my life to be halted in Jesus' mighty name. Lord, deliver my tongue from becoming a cemetery of evil. I redraw the evil words I have ever uttered against my life, against my home, against my family from this satanic bank in the name of Jesus. Lord, deliver my life from the hand of the evil broadcasters in the mighty name of Jesus. I refuse to turn back at the edge of my miracle in Jesus' name. Lord, heal me of all diseases of the tongue in Jesus' mighty name. I loose myself from the grip of territorial and tribal spirit in the mighty name of Jesus. Let every problem in my life that originated from evil tongue, from demonic prophecy, from witchcraft and familiar spirit, from medical and clinical prophecy, from all strange tongue, receive divine instant solution tonight in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Lord, give me a wholesome tongue today in Jesus' name. Lord, make my voice be the voice of deliverance, healing, power, and solution, and life in the name of Jesus. I cover my tongue with the blood of Jesus. I command all the spiritual evil in my life to be destroyed in the mighty name of Jesus. I paralyze and nullify the activities of evil spirit in my life in Jesus' mighty name. I decree the exit of the spirit of lying from my life today in Jesus' mighty name. Let the fire of God purge my tongue from every filthy contamination in Jesus' mighty name. Lord, empower me to tame my tongue and deliver me from the spirit of self-destruction in Jesus' name. I cut myself off from spirit of evil and, and careless speech in the name of Jesus. I command every spirit of complaining in my life to depart today in the name of Jesus. Let every serpentine spirit and poison depart from my tongue today in the name of Jesus. I command every agent of bondage and destruction in my tongue to depart in Jesus' name. Lord, repair all damage done to my life as a result of the wrong use of my tongue in the name of Jesus. I declare today that through my tongue I shall control the blessings in my life in the name of Jesus. Lord, deliver my tongue from becoming a weapon of evil in Jesus' name. I cancel all the evil words I have ever uttered against my life in the name of Jesus. Lord, deliver my life from the hand of evil talkers in the name of Jesus. With my tongue, I condemn every evil tongue that is speaking against my life in the name of Jesus. Lord, heal me of all diseases of the tongue in the mighty name of Jesus. I loose myself from the grip of lying spirit today in the name of Jesus. Let every problem in my life originated from lying tongue disappear from me now in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, I will use my tongue for your glory in Jesus' name. Father, heal my tongue and my whole body and life from the evil of the poison of the tongue in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, heal the lives of your people from the evil and poisonous of the tongue in Jesus' name. I apply the blood of Jesus over my life, over my body and tongue for healing and deliverance in Jesus' name. I apply the blood of Jesus on every idol of wicked word ever spoken by me or against me, that healing and deliverance may occur in me, in others, and related things in Jesus' name. I release now in Jesus' name words of life and spirit and blessings to replace those poisonous words for your glory, Father, in the name of Jesus. I ask that from now on my tongue will glorify your name and have purpose in it in the name of Jesus. Father, unseal my lips and purify my tongue, Lord, for words and works of the Spirit and of life and wonders in the name of Jesus. Father, you are the one in whom we believe. We believe you. We believe you give life to the dead. Father, we will not weaken in faith, but will hope in you and receive your will for our lives in Jesus' name. 
My God will answer my prayers and declaration in my Lord's name and back them with evidence of his glory in the name of Jesus. Father, I am persuaded you are the words of life and are able to bring to completion what you have started in my life. So I remain in you by faith, knowing you are able to do all things. Be glorified, O God, in Jesus' mighty name. Amen.